is it ever appropriate to go alone to just have one person visit one person? The, the important thing about visiting teaching is that we minister, number one. And two, we need to think in inspired ways. Sometimes we say having a companion means we have to always occupy the same space. Having a companion is a safety, but a companion is also your helper in watching over somebody. That means you work as a companionship and a team to strengthen somebody. Now think about that for just a minute. You don't have to be in the same space always to work as a companionship to minister to other people. That is an important concept. That means if I'm inspired to do something and my companion isn't with me, that's okay. Mm -hmm. And if she's inspired to do something and I'm not with her, that's okay. And then if we coordinate and talk about that, that's okay. We have to be able, we have some flexibility here. We, we have the, some guidelines in the handbook that says, ideally, we go and minister together. Or, but, but ideally is us working together. Sometimes, however, we have one visiting teacher who is a strong one, and she's assigned a sister who needs some help and strengthening. And part of that responsibility is to help the companion also be strengthened and learn mm. what her duty and responsibility as a disciple is. So there's a whole dynamic here that is bigger than checking off a list. The answer is yes, you can go alone if that's the best way to minister.